So this is the fourth and final video for this series. Um, I'm talking about the Amana Invensys timer. Um, it was used on any of the dryers. They have this white bubbly looking top. Uh, Kenmore's, Whirlpools, Estates, Ropers, Admirals, you name it, Crosley's, a whole bunch of brands. This is the final video anyways. I got the timer. Uh, sorry, I have the meter set to continuity with a buzz. I got the um, the clamp leads connected to position A and B, just like in the part one video. And this is after bending the little cog inside. And now we'll see what the final result is. So as you can see, now there's a nice strong buzz coming from that. No matter how I wiggle this, for example, in this one, it was very loose. If you wiggled it, it would just immediately lose contact. Now, no matter how I wiggle that, it's making continuity, A and B. And then same when I get into here, I can wiggle this hard, soft, no matter what you do to it, it's making A and B or making continuity. So as soon as it gets to drying, as you can see, any position where it should be heating, A and B are gonna be making contact. And then as it gets to a position where the heating shuts off, then A and B disconnect. So as you can see, this timer is acting normal now. And there's no, there's no fickleness. I mean, it just, it's connected now. That little bend that I put on there was enough now, I wouldn't recommend doing this for a customer or selling a machine that you've done this to because you don't know how long it's going to last and you don't know if it's going to be totally safe. It's not up to the manufacturer's specification anymore. You've manipulated it. But for your own personal machine, I personally think if you want to hack your dryer, you can hack your dryer. That's my feeling about it. But anyways, that's the end.